Okay, so I'm uh, going to try to do a just a quick run through. We don't got a ton of time um, through Stalker Lost Alpha. Uh, give you a little bit of information about the game. Um, several years ago, uh, the first Stalker game came out. There's been three in the series. Uh, the first one was Stalker Shadow for Chernobyl. Um, leading up to the release of this game, there was a lot of hype. There was a lot of um, promises made by the developer. I think it was GSC. Um, a Ukrainian developer that they had these great plans and because of time constraints budget constraints those are the available power of the systems they were releasing to um, a lot of the promises didn't happen so this group of, uh, of modders uh, came out and decided to try to fulfill those promises once Shadow of Chernobyl came out and, and Call of Pripyat and all that stuff they, they worked on it for many years and they looked at the old footage. They looked at the original list of uh, features that were supposed to be included. And they did their best. I mean, going to an incredible detail. And it's a long, long involved story. And I'm just going to touch on it. But, but basically, they recreated what the developers originally meant Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl to be. And... I'm assuming with GSC's blessing. All right, my dog's having some sort of aneurysm back here. Uh, with GSC's blessing, apparently they uh, not only created the game and released it to the public, but they released it for free. So you can go on to moddb.com, download Stalker Lost Alpha. You get the full game. It's basically Shadow of Chernobyl. Um, but plus, it's like Shadow of Chernobyl, but better graphics, better foliage better i mean everything is just improved it looks better it plays better um where original shadow of chernobyl you'd go and you'd find see the Rovich real easily because of his little bunker uh right where you'd start the game um this one has so much foliage i mean you gotta fish around to find this thing and that's the other thing about stalker the entire stalker series not just lost alpha but the entire stalker series gives no craps about your life you will die a lot and it's not very friendly about telling you what to do this game does not hold your hand it comes out of the alley and blackjacks you in the back of the head it's a lot of fun it is a savage um bleak harsh game and uh i don't we wouldn't want it any other way so with that i'm just going to go ahead and jump in real quick and uh kind of show you around um understand i'm on an antiquated system stinking old video card so it doesn't run perfectly well but uh, it, it does run reasonably well while I'm streaming, which I'm kind of excited about. So right now, I'm uh, further into the zone. I'm a good distance in. Um, this is not a starting area. Um, and right now, I'm trying... Basically, the story up to this point was I woke up in a uh, death truck, which is where they haul out the dead, the bodies of the dead stalkers and people found within the exclusion zone around Chernobyl. So, alternate reality Chernobyl um, is having some issues with uh, paranormal what's it, and uh, these stalkers go in to get uh, these little anomalies, these uh, artifacts that pop up around anomalies. The anomalies you see, well, there's all different kinds. Um, everything from stuff that will push you around with air to set you on fire to throw you in there and explode you to electrocute you um, they'll they'll all kill you and you'll hear little sounds as I explore you'll hear beeps and stuff um, yeah this is running kind of crummy right here sorry um, these are all NPCs this is not a multiplayer game at this point um, Yeah. Yeah, so I'm I'm not getting a whole lot of good framer right now because we're in such a big outside zone. There's so much foliage. Um all the buildings, I mean, it's actually doing pretty good for what it's doing. If I wasn't streaming, I'd maybe get 30 frames a second right now. So, not terrible. Um you can customize all your weapons. You can customize your gear. You can upgrade your weapons. Um for instance, this here uh Silenced pistol, which I use as my, my general purpose pest removal, um, has been upgraded a couple of times. 
you see the kind of the flashes and the wind going on over here um, that's an anomaly you have an unlimited supply of bolts so if you want to find out exactly where where the uh, edges of this thing are some of them you can see many of them you can't you see how that kind of threw out at a weird angle it hits it and then it bounces out yeah and you hear the beeping that's another warning sign that I'm near a uh, anomaly and I need to keep my distance. Um, the only reason to ever get close to them is if you see an anomaly floating around. And they'll look like a little chunk of meat or a little chunk of weirdness just kind of be bopping around the ground next to it. So, um, all the signs are in Russian. Makes sense. Because this is not made in the U.S. This is not supposed to take place in the U.S. And the game literally starts you off with uh, a knife and I believe it just starts you off with, it may start you off with a pistol. And uh, <clears throat> doesn't hold your hand from there. So everything you get, you get from raiding or uh, robbing dead bodies, collecting as much guns as you can, and you really cannot carry all that much. I'm already at 41 kilos out of 50 max. Um, so if I pick up two more guns, I'm going to be overloaded. And uh, you go and you sell them at so you can sell them to other stalkers. You can sell what you find to uh, people at the uh, the bar. That was the hundred rad bar back there. Um, but in true survival fashion, you have to keep an eye on your uh, on your um, food levels, your water levels, your radiation, uh, your stamina, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Night on this game is real. And it is vicious. It gets dark out like it does not get on most games. I mean, this game gets legitimately dark. You can hear the my Geiger counter going off around those pipes. So we just run through there and don't get too much of a dose. Um, but at night, you want to find shelter. Hello? Uh, that's the other thing. This game is creepy. I mean, it's legitimately like, where the heck did that come from? Don't know. And it does it from here? Because there ain't nobody in here. And I can't answer it, so whatever. Um, but nighttime, man. There's times where you'll be surrounded out in, the, out in the bush. And you'll just see the glowing eyes of what's out there following you around. And they'll, like, surround you. And you just see these little pinpricks of white. Makes for an exciting couple of minutes. So I purposely went this direction. This is not the direction I would normally go. But uh, I purposely went this way because there's some uh, there's some baddies up ahead. Ooh, hey, 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 hey. That's the other thing. Exploration is always rewarded with awesomeness, whether it's ammo or murder, you death, something. You get it rewarded. Now, if I'm completely quiet, you hear the footsteps. What we have up ahead are, uh, we call them snorks, something like that. They're, uh, used to be humans, drastically mutated. They've got, like, gas masks on and their little nose tube thing. They're creepy as all heck. They jump for miles. They do damage, melee damage. Oh, crap. Uh, I hear you. Where are you? Eee! Oh, there's one. Time to hide. Oh, there's one! Yeah, they're fast. They disappear. Not, like, physically disappear. There's other critters that actually go invisible. But no. These guys are jerks. And they come out of nowhere. Like, I looked over there. And now, look. I mean, he's down there. But where? And that's where Lost Alpha has been a big improvement. Because where Shadow of Chernobyl, we didn't have all that grass. I could have seen where he went. Yeah, I don't even want to know what that is. Crap, biscuits. Where is he? There it goes. Hi there. Come here. Ugly. Oh! Get off my face. What do we got? We get him? We got him. Don't worry, there's only like four more of these guys around. 
Sometimes you get stuff off of critters, sometimes you don't. Best not to trust it. And they'll make different sounds when they know you're there, like that kind of roar. Because usually all you hear is a little pitter patter of their nasty little zombie feet. But, oops, see that, see that, see that. Some of these ex barrels explode, some don't. <laughs> there goes my frame rates. Oh, he lived. What the heck? That worked. The other thing that they've included in this in uh, Lost Alpha, because I still hear pitter pats. What the heck? Um, this up here is your equipped ammunition. And uh, your equipped ammunition is what you have access to. So you run out of ammo, you've got to swip, flip over here and load that thing back up. Oh, it's a, that's a bad day. So you want to always be prepared before you go in. Anything? Ah, uh, Where are you, Pitter Pat? I hear you. I do have night vision. It's daytime, so yeah, it doesn't do any good. But trust me, nighttime still doesn't do any good. When full night falls, you might as well just stare at a blank wall and just stand there, because it is not not a fun not a fun time. And the only other game that I've played where nighttime was this scary was probably Minecraft, where you're running through the woods and all of a sudden friggin' creeper on your face. Yeah, that's that's the equivalent of this game right here. Or not. You'll hear random gunshots. Aha! Found you. Dude, would you die? Of course I can't get up in there. There's another one. Okay, we're done. This is getting ridiculous over there. And my frame rates are taking a nosedive. <laughs> Stop with your grumbles. I'm up. See, anytime there's critters around, you want to be stealthed. You drop like this. You don't make as much noise. You actually can creep up on some of the local f flora and fauna. Your best friend in this game. Use your binoculars, because they will tag enemies. You'll actually see them bracketed. Really? If the this this will get you out of many an ambush. There you go. Look at that guy. Like a leopard javelina or something. Not to worry. They're fast. They're vicious, but they're not. Terribly deadly. Although at this frame rate, everything's deadly. There's another, uh, uh, not an artifact. Whatever. There's another no-go zone right there. Don't go in there. You hear the gunshots? There's actually a group of bandits up ahead. The monsters are scary, but the bandits are a blast. They are way too much fun to fight. Hey, here's an artifact. All right. So, we take that. That'll give us some money later on. Um, the other thing is they all have bonuses. Things that they do. So, for instance, this fella here gives you three times the normal amount of radiation, but will protect you from rupture in case you are uh, bit by something. So, if you don't mind getting irradiated... Oh! <laughs> Get off my face, you nasty little goblins. You don't have to iron sight, but it helps me. Of course I have it. Don't feel too bad for these dogs. These things are evil. Evil as the day is long. 
Nothing to get. Yeah, look, look at that mugshot. That's, that's about what, yeah, no. No, 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 no. Oh, crud monkeys. Oh, sad dog sound. That is not a dog. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. As you can see, it's raining. It's subtle, but you can hear it. At least I can in my headphones. It doesn't really do a whole lot of affecting on you, though. Um, yeah, I'm about out of ammo, so let's... Let's do that. Pull that one down. Okay. Okay, so we're getting up close to the bandits. They're going to be in here. So, let's see if we can spot them. Oh, come on. See if we can spot them before they spot us. They don't randomize locations, so if you quick save like that, you can work around them, but uh, that's kind of weak sauce. Better to just take them out if you can. But they will kill you. Oh, mercy, they'll kill you quick. Yeah, I walked through that bush and it made a whole bunch of noise. If there's anybody in the area, yeah, you can bet they probably heard that. You have different fire modes on your rifles. So I've set it up to my middle mouse button. So I've got auto, or I've got single shot. Single shot is massively more accurate than full auto. Oh, come on. Just, just, just get off the ladder, bro. Yeah, a little buggy. Just a touch. But most of it you can work through. There's not a whole lot of A-list a bugs on here. There's not a whole lot of progression stoppers or crashes. But there are irritating little bugs like that one. Yeah, so what I see here... I see a good spot for bandits to hang out, right? Got a little fire going in their little trash can. Good place to stay warm. Except for the back right there. Hear them? You can hear the bandits chatting. Wake them up. One issue this game has and it's shadow of chernobyl as well as lost alpha if you have a box on the ground and you break the box anything that's in it is probably going to drop to the floor below it if there's a floor below floor below it if there's not a floor below it then uh it'll probably just drop to drop right underneath the uh, broken pieces and you can pick it up real easy yeah after you've been walking in stealth your actual footsteps sound like you're uh being ridiculous grenades Hopa. Oh, I will use those later. Oh, there we go. Bad guy. <laughs> That's right. Tell me how you feel. They'll go to cover. They'll get back up. They'll throw grenades. Or they'll be completely stupid like this guy. Come on. Switch to full auto. Because he could pop out anywhere. Bullets do bleed attack. Um, dang it, I'm getting irradiated. They'll do bleed damage. So when you hit somebody or you get hit, um, you do have to worry about bleeding out. There we go. Okay, I did not need that extra set of binoculars. And now I'm overweight. You can still move when you're overweight, but your stamina will drop like a rock. Care about that. Um, you can always eat a little bit of food. This is a game where you eat a ton of stuff to uh, get your health back. So it's always good to have some food on you. 
Um, I don't see anything else I can drop. Okay. Okay, so you can see my stamina, my green bar. Stamina's my green bar. Kind of going down. And so is my health because of the radiation. So we're going to do one of those for the radiation. I got about half a bar of health, so I may want to take care of that as well. You can use it with a band-aid. doesn't do much health, but it stops bleeding. Or you can use a med kit here. It looks like a pizza box. Those things will fix you right up, but they're hard to find and they're expensive. And I'm being stealth because I know there's a whole bunch of other guys around here. Hear him? In there. Some of these you can get inside and loot. Most of them you can't. Oh, crud. Yeah. Tell me about it. Oh, come around cr crouching. Look at you. And now I've got a slow bleed going on the green. It sounds like I got another guy, so let's just go ahead and let that leak for a minute while I hunt down this next guy. <laughs> the phrase this game is famous for cheeky breaky oh crud oh and that's yeah and that's the game lovely game over lots of death so i'll go ahead and end the video here so uh, just a glimpse into what stalker lost alpha is it looks a lot better in a better computer so don't hesitate to download it give it a try and uh let me know what you think